Welcome back to Let's Play Sherlock Holmes The Awakened. And as you can see, I'm about to make out with Watson. Hey, Watson. What do you make of this, Holmes? Oh, I make of this that we're going to make out so hard. Anyway, as you might have remembered, um, we're going to talk to this guy over here who's just throwing up his brains. Watson, Ooh. it appears this young man is ill. Be a good man and see how serious it is. Here now, my young man. Let's have a look at you. Oh, oh, Holmes. This man isn't ill. He's drunk. He fairly reeks of alcohol. Oh. So do you, Watson. Oh, it's not my fault. I swear it. Oh, oh, my head. Oh, this gang of young toughs, they forced it on me. And then on top of it, they stole my parcel. What's that? You say you were forced to drink? Explain this and spare no details. Yesterday afternoon, I was given a parcel to deliver to an address not far from here. I was near the warehouse district when a, a gang of young lads attacked me. Before I could think, they drew knives and gave me a bottle, telling me if I valued my life, I'd better drink it all. Well, let me tell you, I drank without stopping. I became giddy, and then must have passed out. I remember nothing else except waking up a moment ago, finding myself alone, my parcel gone. But what could they have wanted, Holmes? It's obvious, Watson. They were seeking some poor soul on whom to test their vile concoction. Tell me, could this bottle be the one they gave you? I can't say. It could be. I feel ill just looking at it. Hmm. It has a unique flavour. Rather tasty, I might add. There's no mistaking my senses. This contains turnips. In fact, a liberal amount. But where are you off to, Holmes? Watson, it is time to seek out the distillers of this unique brew. If they are located in this district, they may have much to tell us. Turnip beer? Grody! Drink it. Oh. My aching head. I feel terrible. Drink it. Oh. All right. All right, enough messing around. Okay. Hold on. One thing. Options. And the sound. Going to turn the voice volume down a tittle. Just because there's a huge difference between uh, my mic. Oops. My mic volume and the game voice volume. So I okay. Here we go. We're gonna find whoever uh, drink raped that guy. Can't go in there. What? What? Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, there we go. All right. Is this it? That part of the warehouse seems an ideal place to hide, but it would be difficult for anyone to get there. Judging by the basket of turnips and the ridiculous amount of bottles, I would say that this is the distillery. Can't get in. Oh. So, what about it? What about what? I am missing something. I'm missing something? What am I missing? Uh, this? So? I assume this is your special recipe? That depends on who's asking. If it's the law, then I have nothing to do with this. If you're a customer, two shillings gets you a taste. A taste. A fair price indeed. Unfortunately, this vintage is a bit full-bodied for my taste. But I would be very happy to recover a parcel that went missing near this very spot. All right, I got a parcel. A chip a doo. Yeah. 
Maybe before I go, I should ask him about this thing. If he knows about it. What? One other thing. Ooh. Have you seen this before? Yes, I saw it. One of the dock workers, an odd sort, gave it to a gang member, Brannock. He wanted Brannock to join their gang, or I don't know what. Must have been nigh on two weeks ago. Two days later, he went missing, and not a word since. This man who gave your friend the pendant, can you describe him? Not very tall, strong, wearing a red cap, and he with a hair lip. You could likely find him here, whereas 12, he told Brannock he worked there. Thank you. By the way, my friend the postman feels badly used. You should change the recipe. Oh, I was sure of that. Turnips weren't near rotted enough. Maybe they need a longer soaking in the gutter water. Now, off with a pair of you. Mmm. Gutter water turnip wine stuff. That sounds delicious. Anyway, okay, so he said I have to go to Warehouse 12, and also I have a package, which I believe is actually that one guy's hand. So before we go over to Warehouse 12, from which we might not be able to return, I'm going to bring that guy his package. Oh, postman's gone. I also noticed that, uh, let's check over here. I also noticed that the guy who... Um, does the barman's voice also did the postman's voice and the brewer's voice so that guy that guy's getting a lot of action a lot of voice acting action right there so that's... Ugh. thank goodness that lag went away oh my gosh that last video like I don't understand what happened but it was lagging like flipping crazy anyway Here's your package. Good news, sir. Here is what you were waiting for. Oh, thank you, sir. I could kiss you. Oh, please don't. Here now. You can't just leave this laying about like that. His ass hook. <laughs> oh, I love you. The scrapers I wanted to hear as well. Come now. Let's celebrate with a, a drink. All right. I can this take this. Useful. I don't know why I would want to touch something with that guy's wormy ass germs on it, but there you go. Clearly, it'll come in handy later, so, uh, let's keep sprinting here. Did that always have that sign? Factory closed, general strike. Did not see that last time. So, we're looking for Warehouse 12. And I have no idea where that is, so I'm just gonna go back the way I was before, because... There seemed to be a lot of unexplored area over there. Build us a ship! Build the ship! Sorry. I've <laughs> Random is like the only thing I know how to do. So You're going to have to settle for that. Oh, seven. Eight. Alright. I'm glad these are numbered because I would get so lo- Oh, what? Huh? Okay. Maybe I missed something. Nine, eight. Oh, I can go this way. Okay. Eleven. Twelve. Warehouse twelve. We're here. Not to be confused with the show Warehouse thirteen, which is a different number and is also a show. Hmm. What a pity. The window is closed and the front door is barred. We must gain entry. But how? But why in blazes are we breaking in? Our homes. Ah, oh, Holmes. Hmm. What a okay. But why in okay. Whoops. Um. I need something. I need something, huh? Well, what can I do? Is there a way in over here? Can I climb on the? No, I can't jump in this game. <laughs> I thought I could jump. Damn it! I always feel helpless when I can't jump in a game. I don't know about you, but. 
Yes, there is something here. What is there? Oh. Uh, eh. Okay. Can't jump still. Why do I keep thinking I can jump when I can't? And maybe there's... Oops. Inventory. Um... Fudge. Well, clearly I, I can't something. just use a hook and... Crap. I have to go hunting for stuff. Is there stuff over here? Items. I need items. Items. I assume I get like a, a thingy of rope to go with this hook. That's probably gonna pry the lock open or something. I don't know. That's the best I can guess. Is there anything over here? I don't see a magnifying glass, so no. Maybe if I ask the guy about this hook. What? You again? Oh, I don't know anything else. A piece of advice. People shouldn't stay around here. It's dangerous for their health, if you get my meaning. So you must be a really unhealthy lad, then. With your gutter water turnips. Anything? Anything? This keeps tricking me into thinking that I can go in here because the lit way is usually the right way, but alas, I cannot. Can I open doors of any sort? Door? Can I open you? No. Holy shit balls! This is gonna take forever. I bet. Anything over here? O'Reilly, the baby came to say to me that Sandra began giving birth and that she cl claims me. The boat is clear. You will something something. Um, registers. Any rope? God darn it. Maybe the Nepalese lady will help me. Hey. Help me. Oh, you're still sobbing? Petro, Hidoka. Petro, Hidoka. Petro, Hidoka. Petro, Hidoka. I agree. I agree. Whatever you said, I agree. It is frustrating. This kid is still silent and looking at me weird. No one is here. Well... Oh, oh, maybe this will help. Wait, I saw something on that sack of flour. <gasps> rope. This old rope seems intact. No trace of soot present. Woohoo! All right. Yeah. Maybe that'll. Maybe that's what I needed. Petro hitroka. Oh my god, it's so cold in my room. I'm all nipply. I'm all nipples right now. Could probably stab somebody with them. Alright, inventory. Combine that and that. Yeah! Use that on that. Alright, now I'm Watson. And what am I doing? I assume I'm going over here. So I can. Ooh! <laughs> I can clean it myself. What? What? Bravo, Holmes. What? Ah, it bites. What bites? What? I'm confused. A splendid catch, Watson. But I prefer to let it go. After you. I assume that's a reference to fishing. Okay. So here we are in creepy ass warehouse twelve, and I'm oh. I cannot do this. Uh, why? Why can't you? I thought you were Sherlock Holmes and you could do anything. Huh? 
Okay, so I can push that thing. I don't know if that's significant right now, but, uh, let's see. There's a rope. What did that do? What did, what did that do? Huh? Look closely, Watson. These marks upon the ground tell the tale. There were repeated trips made between the place with the sailcloth and that large box. Okay. Interdesting. Wait, what did I just do? What am I? I don't even know what's going on. He's like doing all this stuff without me even wanting him to. But hey, I guess that means minimal effort on my part. Woohoo! Here's a pile of crap. The end of this hat pin is covered with blood. Uh-oh. Someone didn't put their hat on right. Name, Amos Colby. Nationality, United States. Date and place of birth. He was born on 420. That lucky guy. 1852, Boston, Massachusetts. Entered the country 22nd of August, 1894. Alright, passport. Oh, and then I guess you drew this thingy on the back of his passport. Interesting. Look, Watson, a page torn from an American passport. One Amos Colby, 36 years old, from Boston, Massachusetts. He arrived here just three weeks ago. What business did he have here? This drawing on the back of this page, it resembles some vision of a demon and... Good God, Holmes! It was drawn with blood! It would seem likely that whoever cut themselves with this pin is also the artist of this demoniac image. Demonic? Here now, this is hardly reassuring. How is that demon? Hold on a second. How is that demon? Oh, it looks like a little octopus. Or like a, a gingerbread man. Like, here's the head, here's the legs. Here's the arms. I don't know. But it's cute. I don't think it's demonic. This should prove useful. I need something. Oh, could it be this useful thing that you just picked up? And according to this tab, the case is measured two meter by one meter by one meter. I don't use the queen's measurements. So I don't know what that measures out to be, but... I need something. These cases of sailcloth to hold something very different, but still suited to their particular form. Oh my god, Holmes, you do not mean that all these crates are better called coffins. Maybe. I didn't say it, you did. Uh, yeah. Blood. Blood. Blah. Blood. I want to suck your blood. I am Sherlock Holmes. But resident vampire. I want to suck your blood. Okay, that's enough of that. So, what am I doing exactly? Oh, maybe I can force this thingy with this thingy. <gasps> it worked! I'm like, not even trying. It's basically doing it for me, so. I like this game. I like this one. They made me happy. And here, okay, so we got this rope, and it's going on this pulley all the way over here. And I'm gonna attach this to that. Whoops! Oh, you shit head! I didn't tell you to push it over there. You're doing all kinds of stuff I'm not even telling you to do. It's really obnoxious. I am Sherlock Holmes, resident vampire. I like to push things without even being asked to. Okay, then what? Do I? Eh? I cannot do this. this. I cannot do this. This? I cannot do this. This? Eww. I get it. You're way too smart for me, Sherlock. Bravo, Holmes. Thank you, Watson. Watson, we must inspect this place carefully and leave no stone unturned. We have little time. 
do we? Do we now? I assume that that's God, what this. God, Holmes, where are we? Tread lightly, Watson. This place seems alive and watchful. Uh, oh, hello. Lights came on. What am I looking at? What am I doing? Okay, so whatever I'm doing... What the fuck just happened? If I go against the... Whoa, whole room goes black if I do that. That's, uh... That's weird. Anyway. Okay, so I'm at this door, and... I need to press buttons, apparently, to get in. What does that sound? It's just Watson turning around. Weird. Okay. Um. I'm hella lost. How do I know? Maybe I have to just put them in order of what. So it's this one. Uh. This one. Oops! Fuck. This one. Uh. This one. Then. Three scratches. Uh. One thingy on top of another thingy. And. Scratches on top of a line. Yes? I did good? Yes? What? Ugh. How do I do this? All the buttons are pushed. Maybe you have to do it in the opposite order. Okay, so I did that side first. Maybe this side. Three scratches. It looks like the monster symbol. One thingy on top of another thingy. Three thingies on top of one thingy. Then the other side is this thingy. Then this thingy. Then this is the last one. So that one. What the fuck? You are so creepy, Watson! Get away! I am so confused by this because there's absolutely no prelude or hint or anything as to what the hell these scratches are about and how they relate to these buttons. So I think I'm gonna uh, pause the video, search around the area, see what I can find. Maybe look up a uh, walkthrough because this is ridiculous. And I'll get back to you guys later, so. Okay, be right back. Hello, everybody. Here I am again at the Cursed Mermaid. And thankfully, I saved the game as soon as I got here because, um, turns out this guy actually had more to tell me before I, you know, after I took the hook and, uh, just left. And he was like, wait, I have something to tell you. Not really, but anyway, yeah, I clicked this guy, turns out he had more to say, so, uh, here you go. Hello to you again, sir. I won't waste time. We have discovered new details that may lead us to this elusive seaman. Most significantly, the man has a missing eye and wears a silver ball in its place. By God, that can be no other than Dirty Summers, a nasty brute, that one. Where could one find him? He must have signed on with a ship because he was here last night looking to hire some men. How did he behave while he was here? He gave me extra to secure the private table behind that curtain. During his time here, men of all sorts came and went seeking positions. However, he seemed nervous and fearful as his knife was unsheathed and ready the whole of the night. May I examine this table behind the curtain? Certainly, if it will help. Alright, so I knew there was a significance to that table. But anyway, this guy, all he does is just 
wipe the counter with a wallet? Like, d isn't there anything else to running a bar besides wiping the counter down? Although, maybe he has to do that because this guy has his ass hands all over the counter. Anyway, get out of my face, you Watson. Anything You're always in my face. Alright, so let's go in here. Open sesame! Oh! These cuts oh. seem quite recent. There are four symbols. Oh! Oh my god! There they are! All the symbols! Alright! So that's what the fudge I was supposed to do, and that's. Have you found anything? I have found something of importance. Thank you! Here I go again on my own. Finally found the symbols to open up the stone. Oh, yup. There's a lot of running. I'm super pumped. I'm gonna open those doors and find terrible things, no doubt. It's gonna be great. Yeah. Just can't freaking wait. Warehouse 12. Where crazy shit happens. I bet I could have just teleported here. I bet anything. Hello! Okay, so I have four symbols. Um, 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 um. um documents. Okay, so I have the. Okay, so I guess I have to figure out. Which ones. Wait. Hold on. Which ones complete to make those four symbols? So. Documents. I said documents. I said documents! So it looks like a bird. An hourglass, a uh, bucktooth rab or yeah, bucktooth raccoon, and Eve with some devil horns. <laughs> Bird hourglass raccoon devil horns. Alright, so there's the hourglass, I think. Yeah, oh, okay, there we go. Hourglass, so it's, uh, that one. That one. Uh... Wait, okay, hold on. I'm doing this out of order. So, bird, hourglass. Oh wait, no, that wasn't the hourglass. Hourglass, raccoon, and thing. Yeah! Oh, I totally did it! Oh, dude, really? Oh, oh, I think something like that. Any other time, something like that would totally take me forever. Okay, I think this is a perfect time to end the video so that next time you'll be totally anticipating going into this creepy room. So, thank you so much for watching. And, uh, dude, stop following me, Watson. You're so weird. I'm, no, no, save me, hide me. Hide me! Oh. You're weird, Watson. Okay. Anyway, again, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye, bye, bye. Bye.